guys to the Skull Army. Excuse me. Um, today we are playing um, so a game called Ostriv. And um, it's a game that's still in really early uh, development. It's an Alpha 1. And uh, Alpha 2 should be coming out soon. Um, but I reached out to this developer and he gave me a... Not necessarily a key, but uh, a humble bundle gift. This game is not available on Steam at all. Trust me, I looked. Um, but it, you can look up uh, the game Ostriv, which is right there. And then I'll have a link uh, to the website um, in the description below. So this is a new game. A management type game of the, where you <coughs> I'm sorry I'm getting sick I think where you basically have to build up this town from the ground up um, and you basically man it grow it into an 18th century town town so before we get too too started here <coughs> so this menu and all that this is very basic well in alpha 2 it will change so we're going to pause this real quick. Now this is one of those games where if you don't, <coughs> if you don't um, get every, get your, the, all of the shit together, then you're, then uh, you're going to get screwed. Like I cannot, I have yet to be able to play this without losing all my people to other cities because I had to try this out. So sometimes they'll give you little pointers here for what you need to do for Street Forward forestry for wood production this is gonna have everything from education and <coughs> and medical uh, stuff to religion and um, a whole bunch of other farms and whatnot another cool thing about this is that not it is that <coughs> not everyone can do the same thing so like first and since women are not allowed to do forestry or any of that, um, but men are, um, and then there's some men, some people, men and women, that will not be able to do certain jobs, while others can, so like some will be able to do forestry, some will not, and some will be able to do weaving and shoemaking, and thatchery and fishing, and some will not. It's kind of cool and it's kind of realistic in a way. So when you put your cursor over here, it will tell you all the migration stats, water supply is poor, no market, no housing, no jobs. Excuse me. It will also show how many open vacancies and all there were how many jobs are available. Um, as well as how many people between men and women are looking for a job. It will also show you how many adults you have and how many men and women you have in this town. Now if you do not get your houses put in. You're gonna every all these people are gonna move, which you can click on the world map. You can see all these other towns. They'll move to uh, these other towns here. And you can also have a city hall, which will unlock more ways to control the town. But you can only really set wages and all that stuff. You also notice up here in the money, it will start to go down because everyone's getting paid to work. And so since we don't have a city hall to do rent and whatnot. And since their rent isn't high enough, we will we will be losing a crap ton of money until we start exporting and whatnot. Now, some of this, like <coughs> like religion and health, education, are all still a work in progress, which I think he's adding in Alpha Two. Um, and then decorations are here: government, trade, uh, trade and transport. Uh, production, water, and houses. Now, of course, it'll. S of course, like it says right here, Alpha One Note. Current version of the game has simplified world map for easier debugging. It will be improved in following versions. So it might not be an Alpha Two. It might be. You never know. And I don't know why there's a thing of snow right here. It might be because of all the other games that I've played. So right now we're going to want to start with uh, getting our forestry down. <coughs> and I really do like how they how they how they made it. <coughs> so 
so that how they build it is kind of cool actually so you want to set it like that doesn't matter how you set it you can set it far away or you can set it really close so now we have different time speeds there's normal two times or not two times but um there's that and then there's that <coughs> so let's slow it down so it's kind of cool how they build it <coughs> It gets very in depth of how the building is done in this game. Everything from framing and foundation to all that stuff. <clears throat> now, a lot of this you will need to build a thatchery and a clay pit. <clears throat> Um, and if you just one click, it will immediately delete, uh, stop letting you put out stuff. But if you push shift, click, hold down shift as you guys can see at the keys. Place down multiple buildings, and you have R and T to rotate. <coughs> God. Sorry guys. I had to make this video though. I hope that for it to be my job someday. However, as you guys can see, there will be uneven terrain. There's no terraforming in the game as of right now. So, I want to hope on that for a while, considering it's not even on Steam yet. Um, but I do hope that... Uh, it does get on Steam because he does plan for it. And I'm assuming that the guy doesn't really talk too much uh, good English because um, I think he's like Russian or something. Because uh, the email that he sent from, his email address was in Russian, or I believe, if I remember correctly. So we're going to run out of supplies for that. So what you want to do here, <coughs> you can also set how much stuff you can actually build so we're gonna actually keep all this to where it is at and you want to click open vacancy and it'll show and now we have three men looking for jobs and five what six women looking for jobs and so now we're gonna put down a clay pit as well <coughs> some of this I'm not sure if it's just because how early it is or what, but I'll, some of these don't require construction time at all. So we can actually separate this to... We should probably try to get an industrial zone going. For all the production and whatnot. So probably like right here. And it's something you're going to have to get done is food, because if nobody has food, they're going to leave. Now a lot of this can also be put on pause, but yeah, and we want a thatchery because we're going to lose, run out of that. So, <coughs> we can actually pause that for right now. And as you guys can see, you don't put down roadways at all, the game does it on its own, um, it just depends on how much traffic so like now that there's a lot more traffic going this way there's roads that are forming just like there are to the camp storage the sit camp center all these tents are starting to get past the water wells it is when <laughs> you can start to see it start to form a little bit right here now if you want to fill up your women jobs you can always go here because women can work this and I always set it to where it's women only um, so once you go into, he into one of the job places click on higher options you can choose between women and men how much their wages of course they're not gonna be very this place is not allowed to be have women working again this is the 18th century so as you guys can see by the date, right now it's April 17, 21. So women didn't really have that many rights back then. That was 
back then. That wasn't even in the 1800s in the westerns, the western era. Um, so yeah, that's the 17, seventh, early 1700s. So women were, women were controlled by men a lot more than they are now. The other cool thing about this is that they'll actually stack up wood, and then an actual change. So like when they, if that goes all gone, it's empty. It's pretty cool, and then you can also choose some uh, bark as well. And it's cool is that they'll also <coughs> not over over harvest because uh, once this thing gets full, they don't log anymore because there's no more space. Then so, and then all these houses are gonna be having different looks. Like not there's not one house that that's different. Um. That, but since it is alpha one early early development, I think he said there's only about 30 variations in uh, house looks right now in the game. So until we get 30 houses, every house is not gonna look the same way, or should at least. Now with every <coughs> now every time a house gets built, every one or two houses, these tents will actually start to disappear. Because they won't need it anymore, and it would be too cold for them to live there once they um, once the winter comes. And then also we have 25 peop uh, people now, and so now you can see that um, we have jobs available. So that's good. <laughs> kind of start to see a little right in there. Now for fishing, usually in these types of games. Um, you want to put down a fishing tank right away because it's an unlimited amount of food. It's, um, you don't need to build anything, but in this game, it's more realistic. Um, so the fishing dock. You put this thing down, it, they will not fish because this water will freeze up in the winter. So, it'll, and they don't know ice fishing. And also, you cannot fish until you have a boat. And you can't get a boat until you put down a boat yard. Which then you can request a boat to be built. Which is kind of cool. And it can be a lot more of a pain in the butt too. To be honest. <coughs> so we're going to get these um, houses kind of built. It's kind of cool. It is stored flour, potato, drinking water, firewood. That's the sound of them building. That might look like hay, but that's some thatch. <coughs> Which, they still have all these houses to build as well. And it's June. So we're actually making some good progress right now. And our clay pit has 9,967 clay uh, able to be taken. Now, obviously, since the health is still work, a work in progress, all, <coughs> all your all the people are Im immortal, basically. No one can die as of right now until um, Alpha Two. <coughs> Alpha Two will. Remove that ability and uh, finally add in health stuff. Um, and then I did see in the um, plant features that he does plan on, um, he or she does plan on or at least adding in uh, dogs and cats for your people to have, which is kind of cool. Now I'm not entirely sure if they decide if they're going to keep it to 18th century only. Or if you will be able to develop it into the 19th century and the 20th century as well. I mean, there will be a lot more to um, stuff to do, but this game has a lot of potential and a lot of potential to grow. Um, especially be in from the 18th to the 19th to the 20th to the 21st century. Maybe not the 28th first because you have to stop. All games have an end of development at some point. In their lifespan. Um, it's just the cold hard truth. Every video game like this. Always dies off. And the development team decides. That 
stop developing it within a certain amount of time because there's only so far you can go into a game before it just starts getting stupid to be honest that's kind of my opinion on things but <coughs> this game does have a lot of potential um like between i'm not entirely sure if this is gonna have mod support um but I do like this a little bit better than Life is Futile. The Life is Futile franchise and Banish. Mainly because I never really liked Banish. I didn't think the graphics were too great. And um, apparently, like, and so now the, the game won't even launch at anymore, no matter what. Um, I got a modded save on that on that game, and every time I installed it, it was it was, it does not want to launch at all. It's like fucked up the entire Steam thing, for I don't know for some reason. So as you guys can tell, some of the tents have already disappeared. We have about five more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, we should have enough houses. <laughs> Let's see. It's July now, <coughs> and they're. Uh, let's see here. I hope we don't get stalled because we don't have enough time for it to be stalled. So we might have to build a factory. Let's see here. I'm on laborers. Deliver the shit. <coughs> Yeah, see, now we're starting to stall because there's not no thatch anywhere. <coughs> so they can continue building the frame and whatnot, but they won't be able to build the roofs until we get more thatch. Now, there is no, like, resource collection button. Um, there might be added in the future, I'm not sure. Um... Like I said, it's Alpha 1, Patch 8. As you guys can see, I just now noticed in the lower, <coughs> lower right side of your screen. I think I might have bronchitis again. I'm not entirely sure. And if that's the case, I might have to stop uploading for a while. <coughs> now, usually food would be priority, but these houses are priority. Because, like I said, in this game, if you don't get houses for the people in these tents, they will move out. Because it's too, because it'll be too cold for them to live in. These guys better hurry up, so I can. And then you can right-click to take them, um, fire people. <laughs> Which hold. But they're probably going to build all the frames of these and then um, be, and then uh, work on the thatchery. So we'll still have <clears throat> a couple people. Not as many as we'd like, but throughout time we'll get more and more people. Kind of cool how they do it. That white thing is their um, cab fire chimney thing. No textures on that. <coughs> Unless that's how it's supposed to be. They haven't even delivered anything here at the factory. It's kind of a beautiful area in a way. On the first map. Now of course you can't go everywhere in this version. And then you can hold down. The middle mouse button. Button. <coughs> get a better um, view here. That shit is loud. So this is the ma middle mouse button. And then you have the. Okay. And then the. Then you can click on these. Right. And then right click on right click click on the workers that you want to 
release from their job. And I, one thing I really hope they add in Alpha 2 is priority. Is being able to change the priority of the game or the building of construction. But, um, not entirely sure how high up that is on the uh, roadmap for Alpha 2. So, the building in this game is just fantastic. I love it. Like, Live is Feudal doesn't even go that advanced. I don't, I haven't. Like, it's, like, the building in the game is definitely better than Banished. And it's, and it's definitely something. But. Where the hell are the ducks at? Are those frogs? The fuck? Sound effects, but no uh, actual animals. It's kind of funny. Have some rocks here. <coughs> the lake is a little swampy, it looks like. <coughs> October. I don't think we're gonna get this done in time because <coughs> we're gonna lose quite a few people and waste resources on these. Now this road has finally been a fully developed road now. We have a little fire pit here. Campfire. Kind of cool. And then you can also like follow people as well. Yeah, it's another cool thing is that. Oh my god. Um. When they cut down trees, the it's two people that uh, carry it. It's kind of cool. I like games like this where they're old fashioned in a way. Are they building the thatch area yet? Nope. Great. So yeah, they got three more that they're going to be building here. And then they're probably going to build the frames, and then that'll be it. Which I think I'm just going to pause these so they can work on the thatchery. I'm not entirely sure though. that one stalled now <coughs> so now they're gonna be working on these yep we only got three laborers right here the liver and everything the clay and wood and whatnot just foundation framing now is going on support means the rest of the house and then the rest of the house frame there's 
the fireplace there. So we we only have this this month, and this month is almost over to get these houses done. But these houses are not going to get done anytime soon. Just going to pause that. Hopefully they can start working on this, which I should have done earlier on. But cause I don't think we're going to get this thatchery done in time. Yeah, let's see. We're done for. Let's see. So now we're down to 11 people because all these people moved out because it's too cold to live in a tent. <coughs> it's cool that they'll still work in the winter time too, but I was really hoping we would get this done in time so that we can start working on food. As you guys can see though, the money's dropping. But the drinking water's going up slowly but steady. So I'll still turn that off for production so that can go up a bit higher. Because we still have poor water. Okay, now we just want to hire somebody there. But we don't have enough people. We're going to have to start cutting people. Oh. So we just lost a lot of people. So we have four women and four men. So we have a child here that will grow up, a child here. So we don't have any boys that are grown. Oh, yeah, we got one guy right here. Hopefully these guys will have a family. Two women here are growing up. So now we just wait, I guess. We need more thatch, though. I don't think we're going to get that for a while. Which means <coughs> these houses won't get done and then I can't we can't work on food. We don't really need weed reeds, I don't think. Like if I did this would he work here? I wonder. Yes. Okay. So now we got a thatcher. And he's going to work on making 20 thatch. Which will hopefully get these the rest of these houses built in time. Education one out of five. <laughs> then the children that grow up are gonna have a zero out of five. Once twenty four. <coughs> Three, four, and seven are the only kids we have in this town. That's unnamed. Or do we have our name? It's just our city. Okay, hopefully that they add that in the future. He's going back to make more reeds, or I mean thatch. Do, do, do. 
do 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 now it's just a waiting game <coughs> slow down time here so we have a kid right here age three kind of cool the door opens and closes Push. come back out person just following their dad around or something of one guy sitting at the fire pit by himself. So sad. I think this person's gonna go sit with him. We have this guy with water. Gonna go back to his house, and then here comes the wife, or mother. Or mother, sorry. Do we not have. What if we just turn on reason? Fuck it. <coughs> Now this one cannot have <coughs> women in it either. Do 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 do. Yeah, because I think he needs reeds in order to make that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm stupid. So we got one thatch. <sighs> Which means the laborers can start delivering it to all these houses. Hopefully. <coughs> Sorry. Is there anybody that would... Oh my god. Okay, let's just... Well, I fired that one guy. There we go. Now we got a laborer. On cart, three thatch. Now you can build more that more carts. <coughs> Once you build a carpentry, builds carts, wagons, and plows, and simple furniture. Um, and then there's smithy is where you're gonna get all your nails, which will be, will probably be running out of them soon. I mean, not soon because we have 352 of them, but we'll probably end up building it. Anyways, and I'm putting it on pause. I don't know where I should put this at. <coughs> Got a house completed finally. I'm just gonna pause this. It's because we got 300 nails that we can use. So we got finally got one house built. One, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four, five, six to build. I mean, this one's almost done. But after that, we still have four more to do. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. And then this one that still needs to be built, it still needs the frame built. Oh, uh, these two look the same, I know. The only difference, well, the big difference here, this one has, like, our deck type deal, and this doesn't. And this has that little, what is it called, uh, entrance type deals, and this one doesn't. Well, kind of, but not really. And then this one's kind of like this one, except one part of it's, like, built outwards, so there's only part of it.
Yeah, because there shouldn't be anything different. <coughs> anything indifferent, sorry. Of course, you saw some houses that are still old. Now we don't. This should have some thatch. There he goes again. <coughs> Gets down, has a rest here. Anybody gonna start building the houses at all or? There we go. Show path. I don't think this. Sh oh, look at that. No, that one's gonna go to this house. <coughs> Kind of cool to be honest. Neo. I only put more here to finish that house up. This only needs one more thing of thatch, and so does this. Ugh. <coughs> Alrighty guys, so I'm going to end it there. I know that's, this is kind of a horrible ending. <laughs> but um, I am think I'm getting sick. Um, my nose is starting to be runny, so I don't want to start sniffing. And I'm coughing a lot. And also because, well, there really isn't much entertaining to do right now. Um, but in the next episode... I was planning on to do food, but we're obviously not going to get to that point until we get these houses finished. Um, but uh, we might, and we're gonna, probably going to get the houses finished, then we're going to get the smithy and food. Not sure if it will be all next episode or if it will be uh, in the next couple of episodes. But anyways guys, uh, this game is called Ostriv. Link will be down in the description below to the official website. Um, it's, and... Um, Hit that like button for, hit that like and subscribe button if you're new. Hit the subscribe button um, if you're not new or if you are new. Um, click that like button. Um, it helps a bunch. Share this video around. Um, it helps me out a bunch. Comment on it. Do whatever. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.